Okay, guys, this is um, part two of my video. I found what I was looking for if you guys are coming over from part one. Um, I showed you that bracket, and the reason I like that is because although the Stampin' Up! Um, has that modern label punch when you do the smaller sentiments. Sometimes the sentiments are a little wider than it would fit. So these bracket dies are very good to hold a slightly wider sentiment like this one here um, that says feel better. Um, so that way you can use the little brackets as little sentiment holders on a card. And they're nice and small and they won't take up your whole card. And you can just add them on to kind of show, um, you know, use your sentiment there. So that was that. So that's another one of my favorites. And then another favorite, this is something small, but something that I happen to love. I love these at my Michaels. Um, they have, I don't know why, because I have been to other Michaels and they're a dollar each. And even that's good. But at my Michaels, they're, these kind of stamps are only 49 cents each. Um, and I happen to love that. And I use these all the time. And a lot of people love the clear now and they prefer the clear. I happen to like the wood ones, especially these, because you can see the picture. Um, when I have my clear ones, I tend to not use them. I put some on my clip it up, but it's hard to see. So I like these because I have them all displayed on my wall, as um, you guys may have seen in my scrapbook room tour. Um, I haven't updated it in a while. Things are a little different in here, but for the most part, it's the same. But I have the racks that just store all these, and they don't take up a lot of room. And I love them, and the fact that I see them out, I use them a lot. So that's another big thing, the, the 49 cents, or if they're a dollar at your stamps, they're good to build up your collection, maybe if you're on a budget. So that was another thing. I um, have to agree with Rashida, the Memento ink. Uh, most of you probably have this. It's great. I don't have a whole lot of colors yet but it stamps evenly and I really like it for coloring your Copics. It's perfect, it dries quickly. It's a nice crisp um, ink. So I like that. Then another thing is for card makers, whoops, for card makers, paper tray ink. This is me scribbling on here. This is just one of the kit, one of the many papers I have. Paper tray ink, if you have not used it yet, paper tray ink cardstock is one of my favorites. Um, probably my favorite. I even like it better, a little better than Stampin' Up. Every, of course, everybody has their own preference, but it's just a thick, a nice, thick, heavy-duty cardstock that you don't feel like um, your cards are too flimsy or they're too thin. Because, um, you know, we all get those paper packs from Joann's or from Michael's, and although Recollections has been getting a little better, it's still not as quite as thick as this. So if you're looking for something that's like a professional, you know, where it's not, you know, too, like a flimsy card, these are, the Paper Tray Ink is really, really thick card that really just makes it nice for your paper. And they're not real expensive. They're about $5 for 25 sheets. Um, and they have a ton of colors, and they have perfect match colors, and I love Paper Tray Ink. That's another thing. And then I really like, this is an older thing as well, I really like the Alphabet Stamps by Close to My Heart. I only have two sets. Well, I have four sets total of theirs. Um, this is my favorite. I think this is called Friendship by Close to My Heart, and this is the bigger one. And then I have the smaller set of this, which is, this isn't it, but this is um, about the size of it. And then I have this in the large set. Now I want to show you, of course I have something else in here in the way. It's not this one, but this one here. Um, I keep it in this little, whoops, this little folder. But isn't this font pretty? Um, it's a nice cursive cursive -y. I make up my own words in case you haven't heard me do that. Um, nice cursive font that's a little fancier and then this one's a little more. I uh, just, I really like this font. I don't know why. Um, but I have both the large size and the small size, which is great because say if you're writing the beach and you really just wanted beach to be big and you could write the with the small ones, beach with the big ones. And again, this will save you money over time because you don't have to keep buying the sticker letters or, you know, cutting, you don't have to go bother cutting them out with your Cricut. So they're nice to have, too. Um, so that's another favorite. And I'm almost done. Another one I favorite, and again, this isn't a new thing, but new to me. Um, I love, not all these in here are from I Am Roses, but I love the I Am Roses flowers. They're just so fun, and aren't they so pretty? You know, the way they come, and they're a quick accent to, like, you know, your cards that you can add the different ones and all different types of arrangements and, and things like that. Um, here's another one, let me grab it. This one's got a lot of them on it. But, you know, just so you can add different accents to your cards um, and just do different things with the 